What's going on guys? It's DVD Blu-rays, aka Mr. Nichols. How you guys doing today? As you guys can see, I have a new setup. These lovely flowers on the wall, not mine. They're my wife's. But behind me, that's mine. Um, I have my new shelf, my new movie. Well, not my new movies, but my new movie shelf. This one right here is old. That was at my old house. This one right here is new. So, what I'm going to do today is show you guys in detail how I built these shelves. Because I had a lot of people asking me on my Instagram, at DVD Blu-rays. If you're not following, follow down below. Link down below. But if you guys aren't following me on there, I post every day. Obviously, not. To, I haven't been posting this week because I've been moving. I still have boxes over here. I still have movies on the floor over there that I haven't put up here. Because it's been a nightmare trying to alphabetize all of these, move them over, and vice versa. So, let's get into it. I'll show you guys what I uh, what I use, where I got it, what size. So, the, obviously, every size is going to be different, but I wouldn't go any wider than this shelf right here. And then you can always build on after that. Because if you build, on, if you build longer than this, your uh, your wood is going to start bending and flexing, and then that's no good. So let's get into it and show you guys how I did it. All right, guys. So here's my shelf. This is my brand new shelf right here. Looking beautiful. And here is my shelf from my old house. This was already filled to the brim over at my old house, and I had movies stacked on the floor, kind of like this right now. I just haven't alphabetized those yet, so they'll go on the shelf sooner or later. Say hello to the DeLorean. And I have a, a poster right there that my wife is letting me hang up in this room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, when you're married, it's kind of hard to get approval to hang stuff in your house because, obviously, you're married. It's the wife's house, not, not yours. But anyways, let's get into it and show you guys how I did it. All right, guys. So basically what I did... Uh, to get the dimensions for my place is I just measured from the floor all the way up to the roof. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys just to show you how I did it. Fast forward. We got 95 inches, almost 8 feet. So technically, a house, their roofs are eight feet. So what I like to do is I'll cut off a couple inches off of that, and that'll be my wood from the floor to the top. Of uh, That'll be my sides for the, the shelf. The width of this shelf right here, we got three and a half by two. So three and a half by two inches. I feel like a Home Depot channel right now. I feel like Tim Howland. <laughs> um, but guys, so that that's what we have so far for our our wood here. This is a specialty wood. Um, obviously it was dipped in some sort of paint. Uh, I forgot how much it cost. I think it was like eight dollars a piece. Kind of pricey. You can get the other stuff, but I just like the way this looked. So I went with this one. I'll show you guys a screenshot of what prices are and how, how how tall it is but a normal piece of wood is always eight feet if you go to Lowe's they can cut your size I always prefer you cut off a couple inches from the top because you're gonna get stuck on this roof see it's a little black up there I gotta clean that up a little bit that's from them cutting it all right next up we have the one by twos uh, pine this is uh, one by two pine so these come in a set of 10 feet. You get them in 10 feet. That's how much you pay. You could take them to the person up, you know, at Lowe's and they'll cut it up for you. But like I was saying, you don't want to go any longer than this shelf right here. So let me show you how long that one is right now. From there to there, we got 36 inches. So eight feet by 36 inches. Make sure you cut off a little bit of the top and there you go, you guys have a shelf. But, forgetting the main thing here, when you get your side piece here, you're gonna have, obviously, 
you need to drill some shelves. So this is how I did it. Very easy, very stupid, actually, if you think about it. What I did from the bottom, you're gonna drill down all the way on the end. On the end, I prefer you guys starting down at the end. You're gonna drill one very on the very end right there. That's how you start. Then you put a then you put a movie. Give yourself a couple inches. Drill another hole. I prefer you guys do pilot. A pilot hole is basically a drill, a smaller drill. You drill into there. You're gonna drill into this wood right here and this wood. So you can hold this one and hold this one. Drill a hole through it and then you put your screw. That screw is a two inch screw right here. That's how much you're gonna go in right there. Two inches. That's gonna hold your movies securely. Now you guys are wondering, how did I mount this to the wall? <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a stud finder. You're gonna come over here. I, don't know, I forgot where I did it. Hold on. You're gonna find a stud in this wall. You need a base wall. You're gonna find a stud and you're gonna take that screw and drill it right into that stud. You're gonna do it on this side. You're gonna do it up there on three three holes in the wall. You're gonna do it on, the, on each stud. You're gonna find a stud and do it there. And for the other side, if you're going on an edge, if you're going on an edge like that, you're wondering, how did I mount that? Well, let me show you. I'll show you guys a screenshot. I can't and I can't find a find them anymore. But you're gonna take these L brackets. You're gonna find a you're gonna find a stud. You're gonna drill it into that stud, and then you're gonna drill it into this. This sucker ain't moving. I'm shaking that, it ain't moving. You're gonna do that two sides, one right there, and then one down here at the bottom. But guys, I hope this quick video helped you out. I'll throw the dimensions of, of this shelf right here, this long one, up in, my, in the description down below. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on DVD Blu-rays, on Instagram. I hope I helped you guys. Swap me video, coming soon.